So what is ink? Ink is basically a colored liquid or semi-liquid substance used to color a surface usually with a design, text, or image. Since its inception in 2500 BC, it has had a wide range of uses that are often overlooked in everyday life. It's used in books, newspapers, ballpoint pens for writing, which is its oldest use, or just drawing, and lastly for printers, for printing out money or your essay, or a blank piece of paper because you ran out of ink like me. There's actually two main types of ink, printing ink and writing ink. Printing ink is used for conventional printing and digital non-impact printing, with the former basically consisting of transferring the image onto another surface with the mechanical plate, and the latter having to do with digital images, obviously, being printed by embedding drops of ink onto the surface. So think of inkjet printing and the likes. But the main two types of ink, printing and writing, largely differ due to chemical composition. Well, what is ink composed of? Historically, ink was made out of vegetable and fruit juices or even blood from shellfish. Ink today is generally composed of insoluble pigments and soluble dyes mixed with water, alcohol, or other solvents. It also consists of stabilizing polymers so as to prevent the ink from clotting and allowing a smoother flow. Ink also, depending on its intended use and type, contains additives such as waxes, lubricants, surfactants, and drying agents, all of which are called vehicles and may help to bind the ink to the surface. These may also help with printing or may help reach a certain consistency or characteristic of ink necessary for its specific use. Some examples of different ink compositions include newspapers using mineral ink, while writing ink uses a more oil-based dye than pigment so as not to clot. Things such as highlighters and markers use water-based dyes and pigments. But how is it made? Well, it depends on the type of ink you're making, printing or writing, and again, the intended use of the ink. Generally speaking though, pigments used in ink are grinded into a fine powder, and both pigments and dyes have to be mixed with water or some other agent. Sometimes, ink is heated and mixed and then filtered to prevent lumps and hence clotting. And sometimes, as it is with newspaper, the ink is not heated and rather is absorbed by the fibers of the paper. Linseed oil inks dry by air oxidation, which is what is sometimes used for newspapers, and inks with alcohol or petroleum-based solvents dry by evaporation through heating. All in all, the process of ink and its composition is really more complex than explained here, and it's very fascinating considering the prevalent use of ink in modern life. This only briefly explains some of the chemistry behind ink and doesn't even get to parts like what different colored inks are made of. For example, black ink being made out of carbon black or white ink containing titanium dioxide. But that's for another time and another day that probably does not include me in it. So, thanks for watching.